So with a basic understanding of the production elements that comprise power, deafness is a challenge to be fought and over. And thus, you made it back for another episode. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the AM with Amy, which is my series that happens every single Monday on this channel where I just do my makeup and I get ready with you and I talk about topics that you guys want to talk about, that I want to talk about, and every other week is a topic submitted by you guys. So next week is that week and if you want to be featured in one of my videos, definitely hashtag the AM with Amy and tweet and DM me your questions. Uh, but without further ado, this week is actually about my favorite podcast and why you should be listening to them so let's just get into it the lighting is so weird i'm already wearing some of the dr jart bb beauty bomb but i'm gonna add a little bit more with this smashbox uh rubber sponge I don't know what these are called. Also, I'm trying out this new Smashbox Ablaze palette. I think this is the Shea Mitchell collaboration, um, but these colors are just all my colors. If I came out with a palette, uh, minus this uh, purple one, minus this purple one, they're all my colors. So uh, I'm gonna get started. I look naked, so I apologize for, no, you know what? Some women find comfort in being naked and some co women find comfort in being covered so whatever that is you celebrate that although I'm usually one of those women who like to be covered <laughs> anyways by the way I've had a few people ask me what color I am and I'm in medium deep uh, which to me is quite ridiculous because I am not deep at all but you know Eastern Asian beauty products have a long way to go as far as color range I guess we'll first start off with my favorite self-help or development podcast because as you guys know to me life is all about growth and improving yourself so I'm constantly thinking about ways to better develop my brain my body um, my habits so I love to listen to podcasts that are kind of geared towards that um, but there are a ton of podcasts that I'll talk about that don't have to do with that as well um, so my first favorite podcast, which I have recommended to pretty much everyone I know that is into self-help or self-development, it is Optimized Living Daily. And if you watched my These Things Change My Life video, where I talked about uh, pieces of content that really uh, helped to change my life, Optimized Living Daily was definitely one of them. It is basically a guy named Justin Mollick who reads every single day from the best self-help, development, minimalist, um, blogs and uh, he started the podcast as a project for him to just read a piece of content every single day and he wanted to ensure that he did that so he made a podcast of it he made a recording of it and then it quickly became one of the most popular podcasts on self-development on the iTunes charts, uh, which is how I found it. And I like it because it is succinct and short and there is no witty banter about how your day is going. And for me, uh, the type of person I am, I really love people who get to the point, who don't beat around the bush. Um, I'm a very assertive person in real life as opposed to what what is this, fake life? But um, I really appreciate people who are very direct and uh, very intentional with their words. And so uh, I can't really listen to a lot of podcasts where uh, there's a lot of witty banter and just I, I just want I just want to get to the meat of the content. And I like this podcast because it is no more, I think no more than 12 minutes per podcast, uh, which is great if you have a short commute or are just walking to class. And um, they're all super, and they're all super well written because they are blog posts. And of course he has permission to read all of the blog posts from the blog owners. And um, I actually found out about The Minimalists from this podcast and I actually watched the documentary because of this podcast. So it was just a very great funnel for me to get into a bunch of different other areas of self-development. One of my favorite episodes that comes to mind from OLD, Optimize Living Daily, is a podcast called Seven More Ways to Say Thank You. And I gotta say that was highly transformative in the ways that I viewed saying thank you more and saying I'm sorry less. So for example, 
it tells you to say instead of saying I'm so sorry I'm running late it kind of makes the viewpoint about the other person which is really how it should be and it's basically saying you should say instead of saying I'm sorry that I'm late you should say thank you for waiting and thank you for being patient with me and thank you so much for just waiting and I really love that because I think oftentimes especially as women uh, we're kind of trained to say I'm sorry for a lot of times where we mean thank you or um, just I don't know and it, and if you have to deal with a lot of um, criticism or hate as a lot of influencers have to do in this day and age um, one of my favorite ways was instead of saying something defensive to criticism you say thank you so for example if someone says some unsolicited advice about losing weight to you um, on your YouTube channel or your blog um, I think most people's first response is to be really defensive and say what about you how about you have you ever lost weight when he's actually telling you to say thank you for that advice I will take that into consideration and you move along and in that sense you're taking away all the power from that person to upset you and that's initially what they're trying to do they're trying to upset you so you take away that power when you say thank you and when you're grateful for that advice and also the person's probably gonna be like what why are, you think, why are you thanking me? I was trying to upset you. So those are two of seven ways to say thank you more. And you guys got to listen to this podcast or actually read the blog because after reading that or after hearing that podcast episode, I actually went to um, the blog's website and I found a lot more amazing articles. So definitely check out Optimized Living Daily and since I've been following him he used to only have Optimized Living Daily but now he has employed so many of his other friends to do Optimized fi Optimal Optimized Finance Daily Optimized Living or Optimized Relationships Daily so he has a bunch of different branches now and um I really just like how succinct and to the point they are. They're just, it's a no bullshit type of uh, methodology of getting the information out to you. And it's because it's just a well-written blog post that he's reading from. So he's just basically a narrator. He's basically an audiobook narrator kind of um, in podcast form. So that's one of my favorite podcasts and I would highly recommend listening to that. And um, I was, I started listening at the end of 2016 so it's been quite a long time and he started one of my other favorite podcast episodes were like 30 things to leave behind in the new year or something um but that one was really good i will try and link that down below if i can find it i follow all of the branches that he puts out um just because i really like their curation of content i'm gonna get this brown color even though oh my god it's so strong Oh, so a podcast that I recently tuned into is called How I Built This and it is by NPR and it's with Guy Raz who is the host and narrator. He basically interviews and tells the story of so many successful entrepreneurs and CEOs and their stories and how they got there. So a bunch of my favorite episodes were the lady who created Spanx. Um, that was so inspirational and motivational to me. Um, because Spanx is killing it and um, her story is just amazing and also the guys at Warby Parker and the guys at Instagram oh I loved the five-hour energy one too because um, he just sounds like a really smart guy who literally had no idea about any type of energy drink but that's what he says makes him so qualified by not knowing anything he is more than qualified to enter the market but um yeah five hour the five hour energy instagram marby parker and um Spanx. those are all my favorite episodes as a youtuber and as um a small business owner when i was 15 to about 19 or 20 um i've always been very intrigued and fascinated by entrepreneurial spirits and i think that's why sophia amoruso she has so much popularity even after the selling of her company because her story is so inspirational for a lot of w young women and a lot of young men as well. Um, so I've always been very interested in how people rose to their success and how they got to where they are, regardless of whether or not they're conventionally successful. But I've always been interested in entrepreneurial spirits. So 
If you are kind of a self-starter or love self-made people and ideas, um, I would highly recommend listening to how I built this. I feel like my eyeshadow is just like way too crazy because I've never used these shadows before. Um, I'm gonna try and salvage it with this orange color. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That orange color is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can tell. I need to blend more. As I know that many have people have told me I need to blend more. One of my favorite podcasts for development or self-growth is the Life Coach School podcast with Brooke Castillo. And it is basically a podcast where she is a master life coach. That's Brooke Castillo. And the podcast is actually designed for um, you to get trained in becoming a life coach um, but the episodes are amazing pieces of content on simple concepts and ideas of life for example fear and rejection failure love all those things and she really breaks it down this is a really bad description but basically i find so much wisdom and so much enlightenment on such simple uh basic concepts that we hear every day. So let me read a few to you. So how to have a better life, proactivation, productivity, uh, giving up or burning out, I'm not good enough, problems are forever. Oh, that was one of my favorite episodes. It's called Problems Are Forever because uh, she says that problems will never end and she talks about why that that's a good thing and it really a lot of the things in life that she advocates is you don't need more money a better body or a better relationship to have a better life um, you just need you don't need anything to have a better life you just need a better frame of mind and a better perspective that's something that I really stand by because I really believe that if you are not happy with a substantial amount of money, I don't think that will make you any happier when you are a billionaire or trillionaire or whatever it might be. Um, because I think that happiness and peace of mind come from the inside, obviously. Because I really believe that gratitude and contentment, they come from places within you. I think it's more so about being happy with what you have now and then that will uh, train you to be happy when you have so much as well. I really love her podcasts. So many of her episodes uh, have really helped me get to where I am today. Podcast that I recently tuned into is called The Accidental Creative, and by recently I mean probably like this week. I just recently started listening to it, um, but I like it because it shares how to build practical everyday practices that help you stay prolific, brilliant, and healthy in life and work. Host Todd Henry interviews autists, authors, and business leaders, and offers tips for how to thrive in life and work. Since I just tuned in, I don't really have favorite episodes because I haven't, you know, gauged what my favorite is because I've just been listening to a couple so far. But I would recommend that if you are a creative professional, I, I think it would be interesting. I think I might have found this podcast from Krizel. I'm not too sure, but a lot of times I hear uh, podcasts that my favorite people are listening to and then I usually tune in. Uh, but Optimize Living Daily, I did find on my own. An older podcast that I used to love that I don't listen to every day anymore because it's over is Serial Season 1. Um, it's just a good kind of mystery podcast and it's real. So um, I actually think I tried to keep up with the results of the ending for season one because it was a trial case with a non -sayet. I really like season one, but season two kind of missed the mark for me personally. I don't know. You might have liked it. Oh my gosh, the lighting keeps going in and out. But um, one of the podcasts I've been listening to recently and has easily become one of my favorites is a podcast called Dissect. And basically, oh my God, it's so bright. For me, music is the utmost highest art form that I value and treasure because so much of music informs and inspires my life. Like I love fashion and beauty, but without music, I don't think I would be able to exist because it just is such a powerful instrument and such a powerful art form. And within music, I actually think rap is probably one of the highest art forms as well. So this podcast is really cool because it brings 
breaks long-form musical analysis into short, digestible episodes, and season one was entirely dedicated to Kendrick Lamar's album, who is one of my favorite rappers, and the second season, which I am loving, is all about Kanye West's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is, he's my favorite rapper, and he, that album is my favorite from his, so I have been loving season two. If you love music and if you love studying music at an analytical level, I would highly recommend this podcast. Um, I have always loved music and so I took so many ethnomusicology classes in college at UCLA and I loved them. So listening to this podcast really brings me back to those days when I could really analyze all of them. Music is such an amazing art form. To me, rap is one of the highest forms of expression, <laughs> ironically enough, as an Asian girl, right? Because it is such an amazing incredibly complex art form. Um, the use of African-American vernacular English and rhyme and rhythm and all of that interconnected to create this piece of art is just amazing to me. And so much of rap has so many innuendos and puns and it's just so clever and so it's just amazing. I just think it's so cool. And um, because when I, I, I know that so much of rap has so much meaning behind everything, um, I love the app Rap Genius. So it's an app where you can look up lyrics and then it'll highlight whatever part you want to look up and then it'll give you an entire breakdown of Jay-Z's lyric from you know a certain song. And it is crazy what they reference. And I just, I that's one of my favorite apps. So this is a podcast form of that app, I feel like. I love all of his analyses on most of the lyrics. It's just so fun to listen to. I wonder what they're gonna do on season three. I listened to the episode Monster by Kanye and they break down Nicki Minaj's verse and Jay-Z's verse and it's just amazing. I just love it. Le blush. We're almost done. Oh my gosh. The longest AM with Amy because I can go on about the things that I love. This is the Sonia Esmond Perks of Being a Wildflower blush and <laughs> highlight and I love this stuff. I did an entire video Video dedicated to her line so if you want to watch that I'll leave it linked in the cards and down below I guess those are all my favorite podcasts as of lately um, so if you have any more suggestions or recommendations uh, definitely send them my way because I love learning and listening this is Tansy by Colourpop uh, it's something that I'm always wearing, but I don't like the way that liquid lipstick looks I'm so ready for gloss and moisturized lips to come back in style So I usually use my finger to smooth it out and look a little bit moisturized I'm gonna set this. I never set my makeup because I like the sweaty dewy look, but Ooh. Oh. oh, it got in my eye I look so naked today. My mom's gonna be like, why did you show up on camera with a bra? Cause it's fashion mom, it's fashion. Anyways, those were all my favorite podcasts. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. And if you have a question or topic for me to do an AM with Amy on, uh, send me a tweet or a DM with the hashtag the AM with Amy and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.